Hello everybody, welcome back to Great Lakes Breaks. Today we hunt, it's the retail hunt and I've got my uh, trusty sidekick with me, Jasmine. She's, uh, she's excited to go. Plus I gotta go on an errand to get ingredients for dinner tonight, per wife's request. So of course we hunt. I don't live too far away from Walmart and Target, so I actually go there quite a bit. Uh, I have met the stalker at Walmart uh, one or a couple times, never right when he's gotten there uh, because he varies his schedule and I'm not one to follow a stalker around like a stalker, but um, I do know that he stalks on Fridays and sometimes Saturdays and it's Saturday today, so we're going to see if we find something at Walmart and then I heard Target has a new release of I've seen people pull optic football, so that would be really cool. Uh, so we're gonna see what we can find today. Isn't that right? Yeah, we are. We're on the hunt, y'all. We're dialed in just like that. Jasmine, she's hunting for squirrels and other dogs, or just social interaction altogether, new smells. I'm hunting for new product. So we're about to pull into our first stop here, Walmart, and uh, it's pretty busy, pretty busy. So the odds of us finding anything are very slim. Now I live in a smaller town, so it is, you know, not uncommon to see stuff on the shelf, uh, but I, there is collectors around here and a lot of people who come in, buy it all, if it's something good, resell or break it. Uh, which is part of the game nowadays, you know? That's why we're doing hunts for this. All right, just pulled into my first stop of the day. Got my dog here. Jasmine, you good girl? She's very curious. Um, I'm also curious to see what we get. So it's mask up time and let's go hunt. All right, so this is kind of what we see typically. The new product was out, but it's gone. Nothing on the shelf here at our first stop. Some big Funko Pops, but they're shelves. <sighs> Pretty typical. At least the new product came out here. Just gone. So, as you can see, we struck out there, pun intended, uh, Jasmine, no luck, no luck from the dog. But that doesn't matter because we're going to our second uh, hunt, and that's Target, right down the road. Um, I did, however, complete one task. I got everything on the list my wife wanted, double checked, triple checked. So, I guess it's a win, right guys and gals who send lists? So, uh, we'll see if Target brings us any more luck. Stay tuned. All right, here's the big reveal. Boom. This is where they would be. Looks like we've got a little alien product. Nothing on the shelves. There's Star Wars right here, but no baseball, no football, and look at the new rule which I, in my opinion, I like, but we struck out here, nothing, no cards. Well, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, we did not fare well on our retail hunt today, but that is okay because we were able to purchase a little bit of the update Chrome online. And so we have that video for you next. So check it out, uh, super sweet pull we pulled and uh, you won't be disappointed. But guys, thanks for watching. Let me know what your shelves look like and stay tuned for the rip. So that was just a quick video of our retail hunt. Obviously, uh, I wish it was fully stocked and I wish that we had found everything we wanted, but 
Hey, I was able to snag some Topps Chrome 2020 update off their website. So it wasn't on the shelf by me, but you know what? It was online and before it sold off, I got some. So I'm gonna open one of these boxes for y'all. Uh, there's only 28 cards in here. And uh, this is something that sometimes can hold a lot of value. Now, all of their cards were in, you know, the regular Topps Chrome, most of these guys were, but not necessarily their updated uniforms, uh, which is one big thing that collectors want. And then, uh, that's kind of funny, look at that. Looks like 222, but 2020. Uh, there's obviously autographs that can be pulled in here. One-on-one -on -one super fractors, everything that Chrome could hold. Uh, and guys, there is no hobby version of this. They did do a hobby version of this uh, in the form of Sapphire, I guess, uh, which is kind of wild to me. Sapphire's been going crazy, but here's the packs. We got seven packs, and again, four cards per pack. Trying to get some colors, some refractors, some different things, and of course, the top rookies. So let's see who we can pull. And you can tell Chrome has the same thing. If there's a thick card in there, you know you're getting a refractor or something. Uh, but here we go. David Ortiz, Eric Davis, and this follows the update set, uh, you know, as it was. So guys in new uniforms, and then a mix of veterans and previous all-star games because there was none this year. Still looking for our first rookie. Looks like we might get a interesting card here. All right, we got uh, Aaron Judge. Behind that is, oh, that's really sweet. That's a Hank Aaron insert. I love that. Uh, man, very cool card. Sad to see him this year, but always a guy to remember. Alex Verdugo and Zach Wheeler. Heard today that there might be some more trades going on in the pipeline. Arenado might be going to the Cardinals, something crazy like that. Uh, we'll, we'll have to wait and see. Here's Starlin Castro. And he's had a career, hasn't he? As far as lots of teams. Zach Davies and Grillin. So a couple rookies, but no refractors yet and no ink. But getting ink is pretty rare. It's what, uh, you know, 1 in 41 packs. So I think they're all sticker as well. All right, here we go. We've got Josh Taylor. Looks like we did get an insert or a refractor behind here. It's going to be a Met. It's going to be Pete Alonzo Decades. That's really cool. Is it numbered at all? I think there's different parallels, but no, not numbered. Santana and Luzardo rookie. So he's a pretty good pitcher. All right, three packs left. This is not going to be a long video at all uh, as far as the rip goes, but I think we may have gotten an X-Fractor here. All right. Here we go. Cal Ripken Jr., Altuve, and let's see who this is. It's a sideways one, Zach Green. So a rookie uh, X-Fractor. Oh, wow. That's sweet. Out of 99. Is that the X-Fractor? Wow. That is really cool. Yeah, that's sweet. That is a hard pull for a rookie, too. So, very cool. Just wish it was a bigger name. All right, two packs to go. See if we can pull one of the top guys, Randy. I already have a refractor of him and his regular. All right, Price. And then we got a Nolan Ryan numbers game. That's cool. Tino and Todd Frazier. And we're here for some last pack mojo. Let's see what we got. Boys and girls. All right. Oh, boom. There we go. Lewis Robert. We do have a backwards card here. There's a Boba Shet. That's nice. And a Flores. Let's see if this is an auto or what this backwards card is. Oh, that is so cool. Ian Happ. And that's got to be the uh, gold or orange version out of 25. That's huge. Wow. That's such a cool auto. They have such a vast checklist for this. But, man, 
Ian Happ out of 25, and that last pack was fire. Robert, Bichette, Ian Happ. Wow. Really, really good box. That last pack mojo came through. I'm glad you guys like the retail hunt. There is always, it's always fun to hunt around me because you never know what you're going to find. Sometimes you find some, sometimes you don't find anything at all because uh, I live in a smaller town. But the longer we go with this retail stuff, the more people are onto it and trying to flip. So, uh, but guys, thanks so much for watching uh, this Topps Chrome break in my retail hunt video. Like if you want to see more, comment if you want to see more, and don't forget to subscribe. And guys, this is going to be the one of the last times for the giveaway, so go hit that giveaway video. Comment on that to win. Matt and I are going live uh, second week of February to announce the winner. All right, thanks so much for watching. Happy collecting, everybody.